Good afternoon all. God is good and God I'm unable to stay to say anything about my husband, but God Almighty will help me to say a few words. I got married in 1958 during the emergency. He left me for states for four years and he came back to me the day Kenyatta was relieved from Kapaguria. Yes. From Kapaguria. Kenyatta arrived in the morning, my husband arrived in the afternoon. It was during the emergency that my husband, my dear one, he started, when he finished Makerere, there is a, a farm called Cabanyoro Farm for the people who are running agriculture in Makerere. He started that farm in Makerere today. It is still there today. Before he went to America, he was in charge of coffee in Muranga, Kagema district. In fact, I married in Kagema as a young girl. Then he went to the States. After four years, he came to a village girl. He didn't marry in America. He came back to me in the village. Then we started there. He was posted in Yeri. I still remember in 1961, Jaramogi Oginga was in parliament. And he said, how does it come that an African with the same soil and uh, the same boundary, Muzungu will plant coffee and an African is not allowed to plant coffee? My husband started in a lot of nurseries in Yeri, and in 1962, a lot of Kikuyus and Meru's, they planted coffee. They planted coffee. And that coffee today, it was called Oginga's coffee. Have you had any of Oginga's coffee in Central Province? Now, the world you see of coffee in Central Province, my husband had a hard on it. Then we stayed in Yeri. In fact, all these are born in Yeri, except, yeah, with our, my three children, Jimmy, Sunny, and Nancy, they were born in Yeri. Then when, we, when he was in Yeri, he was called, that's the time we got our pension in 1963, he was called by Muse Kenyatta to settle people in Yadarwa. They were settling, I don't know if you can understand, people in Yadarwa, they were Africans, they were workers, laborers. And in order to settle them, I remember him telling me, uh, they were given some money by the colonial government to buy the settlers and uh, give Africans land. I remember I made him 
a very thick cardigan so that when you go to Nyadarwa, it's warm and Nyadarwa, you know, is very cold. I did it with polo neck, with the heavy, heavy, heavy wool, and they would come on a Saturday to Nyeri, where I was staying. He would tell me, you know, Maria, we have living in, in, in the firewood. Because Nyadaba is so cold, I thank you very much for needing that cardigan for me. Then, he was called by Kenyatta. I think you read when he was called by Muzea Kenyatta to settle Nyadarwa. He settled Nyadarwa, Koru, all, all those places, and they never got one acre for me. One acre for me. I was telling him. Since you are settling so many people, why don't you get one acre or a hundred acres so we can have a very benefit? He was telling me, me, my name is Jege. Ninyanganye, wale poor people, so I can have, I can give you an acre. He never did. Whatever we have today, and he let us with, it is a willing seller and a willing buyer. A willing seller and a willing buyer. He never got even one acre after so settling so millions of acres. Yes. <laughs> then he was sent. He was the one who did I, 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 I see DC. Okay. okay, as a family, we are here. My first daughter, Wageshi. My second son, Jimmy. My third one, Mrs. Gatembo. And the last one is this young man. <laughs> Daddy, as they used to call him, he didn't know how to fight. I can't remember any time these children were beaten by their father. Except he would get annoyed when the results of school come. <laughs> and these two boys used to wait for me in the corridor and ask me, Mommy, is daddy breathing hard? If we're not breathing hard, they knew school results are good. If he's breathing hard, they knew there will be chaos. But you're not fighting, they will sit down, talk, 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 talk. He has, I don't know, me as a wife, for 66 years, he has never beaten me. As you know, he called me to go there. He called me to go there. He called me to go there. I would get annoyed because he's normal. He would get annoyed. But the best time, the, the thing he used to do is to keep quiet. Then after a few days, he'll come and tell me, Maria, Ramadan, you know why he got up? Yeah, I can't hear you. I came when I died, he got up the man. Then the quality of my husband, 
He would take the school, the students to school in the morning, and uh, get them in the evening, take them home. He used to leave money in a table so that he was telling me, I have left money there, and that, that was his that was his character. So that if you take, you go to take the children from school, you feel petrol. Because I don't want if a kid gets sick, if a child gets sick, and you are taking him or her to the hospital, I don't want you wait at the petrol station feeding the car. Is that good quality? Now, I don't know. Let me tell you, I don't know how I will start. I don't know how I will start the life without him calling me Maria, my dear, and me calling me Baba Wageshi. Feeding him. Thank you very much. That is our mother. Please give her a big clap. I'll, I'll take her. I'll take her. You'll take her.